cannot find another body of water. Things I do. Hi folks, welcome to Red Dog Survival. I'm David and we're going to do our field test of the GeoPress. Uh, okay folks, we're once again, just to give you a heads up here, there are hunters, they are checking out their, their areas here for deer hides probably later on in the season. So anyways, um, you'll see me wearing a very bright coat. Folks, this is the uh, Rubro Trail, the very beginning of it, and um, uh, I like to thank Bob, the camera B, he has a Bob on the B roll, so uh, appreciate that. So, we're walking a few, uh, just go three quarters of a mile, we're going to go off the trail a little bit. I found a small, a uh, small natural pond, a uh, bunch of creeks, the farmland uh, from the uh, farmer's field here. Pretty well dried up. I'll show you a couple shots of those. And um, but anyways, I found a nice pond. We be able to uh, try the geo press. Okay. I'm wearing a very bright, bright coat. Uh, you can see me again. We're in a uh, hunting season in our area, southern Ontario here. So it's always a good idea when you see the posted sign that you wear something very bright. Orange is usually the traditional color for hunters, but I just had this bright. What do you call it? Shirt trees, I guess. Yellow. Anyway. filled with water in the past. As you can see, it's uh, fairly dry. Well, it's nice to see in the fall that we got a nice trail covered with a blanket of oak leaves here. Makes it kind of nice to walk on. Okay, we're going to wander in there and uh, try out the GeoPress. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, so I'm gonna unclip the GeoPress. Now, one thing I wanted to explain to you, as I said in the earlier uh, video, that the tape, um, I had said this was silicone. What they have is a silicone base, and that silicone base makes it from, if you're on a rocky area, and you wanted to, um, uh, the way to operate the geo press, you got to press down, and they just didn't want you to slip on the rock. So they put a silicone base, and I'll show that up in the in the corner here in the in the video. However, um, that silicone I found in my packs, anyways, it was just hard to stuff in there. The silicone it just made it sticky. So again, I just put some uh, just some duct tape. It's a smooth surface and it just made it easier to pull in and pull out that 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 was all the clarification and secondly the two points I pointed out uh, 
yesterday that um, in order for the GeoPress uh, to work, there are two settings and the red, obviously you're sealing it basically when you're on, on uh, trekking. But when you're gonna operate the GeoPress, you wanna turn it to the green button that opens up a basically a release valve in order for the water to come up through the geopress but it allows the air to come out and that's that's why you have those two settings on the top of your geopress so right now i'm going to open it and pull it out okay now uh another footnote this is your filtrate. This is your purifying filtration system, okay? And um, it's good to up to three years. Um, I purchased this just in the middle of uh, COVID, and uh, things were shut down, so I didn't use it that much. Uh, if you use it a couple times, put it away for some reason. Yeah, it had another filter uh, you wanted to use, uh, and then you came back to this after. A couple of months or even even a couple of years they said this is good uh, if you haven't used it within a three year period um, it, it should good should be good up to three years um, then change it regardless but you have use of this for up to three years and um, I think that's it I want to say so right now Filter I'm gonna leave here, because I'm gonna press it here, but I'm going over to the body of water. I'm gonna try and clear as much as that duckweed. Uh, you, you don't want duckweed to get in there and, and stick in there. You try not to. You, it, you, it will, but it just lessens the life of the, of the filter, and that's all. You wanna stay away as much debris as possible, try and get to clear water, so. Anyways. Okay, I'm up to the fill line. I'm just going to create the situation. That's only part of water that's available to me. And as you can see, close up. Okay. So it's got some duckweed. It's got a lot of sediment from the floor of the uh, woods here. It's going to do a number on this, but we're just going to test it, see how it works. So it's filled to the fill line, which they recommend is 24 ounces. Just enough to put your purifier in there. I've got it set. And now I'm going to press. And they say it's going to take about 15 seconds, depending on the turbidity of the water. 20 seconds, anyways. Since the original model they've put some silicone palm holders so you can press down on that okay so that's so the water is going to come out here it's going to be purified now I like to see what I'm drinking but one thing we're going to be doing is going to be using the steri pin so I just in fact I'm going to do that before we pour it in here to see it this is the steri pin, as you've seen me use it through the other processes. And that's gonna eliminate any of the, um, uh, the viruses, any other dangerous contaminants. Okay, so the beauty of this, you can take the lid off. There's your water, and boy, does it look clean.
That is clean water. Purified, gone through the charcoal system. And what I'm gonna do now is once I put those electrodes in, it's a nice wide open bottle. I'm gonna put it in. Green light is now blinking for 90 seconds. Okay, that's a minute. And again, the SteriPen is designed to purify 32 ounces of water. This is 24 ounces water. So I'm well past the minute, I'm reaching the minute and a half. And that water is definitely gone through the process of ultraviolet light. There we go. It's 90 seconds. There we go. Power it off. Now I'm gonna show you the drinking water. Okay, folks, as they say, drum roll. <laughs> I, I, it's a different taste than the Grand River and the Thompson Creek. I almost have a taste of, I don't know how to explain it. I guess you call that taste, forced floor taste. <laughs> but anyways, there you have it, folks. I drink this water. It's pretty good. Folks, this just gives you an example of the farmland, which is adjacent to the Rogue Rock Trail. And the drainage, ditches, creeks, what have you, all source seeds, planets, and some power seeds. Definitely getting warmer. the uh, Rugrock Trail we have finished our rails geo press uh, field test here at the Rugrock Trail and uh, but it's a beautiful day here in uh, southern Ontario on the Rugrock Trail, Camborough, Ontario. So if you're ever down this way uh, check it out it's not not a bad little trail. So um, hopefully later on we're going to do another clip another trial of the Grails Geo Press at uh, my friend's local farm, uh, and the body water I tried today was fairly. Uh, it, it even dried up farther um, since I checked it out yesterday, and um, <laughs> as you can see, I got into a bit of mud. It's really drying up. So, anyways, thanks again for tuning in, Red Dawn Survival. Please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you the next time. Thanks again, folks. Okay, welcome back to Red Dawn Swagger. And we just got back from there yesterday and this morning we went to clean out the Grail uh, Geo Press. So basically we're going to take off the carabiner here. And just show you. And 
Alright, let's, let's see inside of the sanitizer. That's the lid, basically. That's the inside. We drank a little water. Now I'm going to take apart this is the inner part and you can see the dirt that is accumulated and it definitely smells <laughs> okay so inside if you can see inside maybe you can't there's still remnants of the water, and I'm just going to pour it out so you can see it. That's how dirty that water was. Look at that. Wow. So I'm going to rinse that out and disinfectant. I'm just going to rinse it out, and boy, the smell of the old four floor, as we'll call it, but. This is just, I think, yeah, just a screw. The forest floor, the water table in that woodland, woodland, the water table would be impregnated a lot with the whatever the farmer used on his fields, including probably a lot of manure. That's why we probably have a little, a little aftertaste of Forest, forest floor water. I'm just going to brush that for now. I, I got some warm water here. Now, as far as the filter, I'm just going to scrub that and I'm going to push the water through. Now, there's no real, um, but if this filter becomes too hard, and they say within 30 seconds, if it takes you 30 seconds to press this down to get your uh, filter water, then that's basically plugged. So, um, yeah, with all that mud that was in the water and uh, some duckweed and stuff, it certainly would have done a big job and reduced the, the life of this uh, filter. But that's okay because I have another one uh, ready to go. So um, I'm just going to soak this in uh, some disinfectant. A little cold here. Just enough to cover things up. I'll put the disinfecting solution in, and um, uh, this, I'm just going to take uh, a closer look. I'm going to, okay. so I can see the fibrous, it looks pretty, pretty dark, pretty black, unlike it was Yeah, that's pretty dark, meaning there's a lot of a lot of dirt in that. Hence, I think, um, well, well, we're going to find out later on today. Hi folks, welcome back to Red Dawn Survival. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, because the filter was pretty dirty, I'm going to put a bottle of fresh water through this filter and just see from a time perspective to see if that is too clogged up. If not, I do have a new filter. Before I head out to uh, Craig's, it may be uh, today, it might be next week. So anyways, I got, this is just tap water filtered. 
And I'm just gonna fill it up to its fill line. There we go. And we're gonna go through the process as if this was uh, dirty water. Just to test. Oh, it got a little full. Anyways, just to see how long this will take. Okay, here we go. Oops, <laughs> forgot. There, green dot will release the air. It's a little, a little hard to push than earlier through other uh, times. Yesterday it was a little harder. We're about 15 seconds, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. That water uh, went through that filter within the 15, 20 second range. So I think that filter is gonna be good for, I don't know. Uh, I only used it a half a dozen times. Um, I thought it was before COVID, but it's actually uh, a year ago. So anyways, um, after yesterday and seeing the condition of the water it went through and how muddy it was, um, looking at the filter um, earlier this morning, um, it looked pretty dirty. So I was, I was concerned that maybe that muddy water, which was really muddy, um, might have plugged up this whole filter, um, which um, I would have just used the other, a new one that I had. So anyways, I...